Hello boys and girls, today I wanted to uh, share with you what I dive into recently. So you know I was you know, just reporting and just complaining about how Crypto.com earn program slash, slash and slice its earn rewards twice, right? Before 4th of April. And then I was hearing people saying that, you know, um, other places also start slashing. So I want to do a, like a comparison, you know, between um, Crypto.com's earn program flexible USDC program, right? Versus Binance. Binance is probably Crypto.com's biggest competitor, barring Coinbase aside, okay? So I'm just going to compare the USDC flexible stake on Binance Earn versus Crypto.com Earn. And this is what I found out. So if you go to Binance.com Earn program here, right? And then you scroll, you scroll down. Okay, I'm just going to compare USDC. Okay, we'll talk about USDT later. You look at the USDC section over here, and the flexible program of the USDC savings on um, Binance is quite abysmal. Actually, look at it, 1.2 percent, and that's not even it. You know, if you go, if you see this um this mark over here, you you highlight it. It mentions to you it's blended. Okay, so the first 75,000 of the flexible savings program on Binance for USDC, first 75,000 is 1.2 percent. Anything above it is 0.3%. So let's do the math, right? So let's assume you got 100,000 to spare and you're going to put it into Binance, right? And then you see, if you look at it here, okay, um, this is a, the, the tiered program I was talking to you about, you see? Over here, right? The first 75,000 is 1.2% and the next 75,000 is 0.3%. If you look at it over here, so if you put 100,000 into US, uh, USDC Binance, right? The first 75,000 at 1.2% per annum, you get 900 bucks. A whole whopping 900 bucks, right? And the last 25,000 that makes up 100,000, you get 0.3%. Did I get correct? 0.3, yeah, yeah, 0.3, correct. Which is 75 bucks per annum. So in one whole year, at the end of 12 months, if you put your money in uh, Binance Earn USDC Flexible Savings Account Program, you will get a whopping 975 bucks, which is about less than 0.01%. Did I get correctly? Or was it 1%? 1%, probably 1% blended, okay? On the other hand, if you go to crypto.com, right? If you go to crypto.com, you just take note, okay? If you scroll all the way down to crypto.com, okay, they earn, their crypto earn, how does it work? So you see, look at, look at this, right? The tier 2 rates, which is half the, half the rewards, full rewards rate, applies to fixed terms. That means it doesn't apply to flex, flexible terms, right? Okay? Fixed term to exceed the quarter of thirty thousand. So I'm assuming you, if you put a hundred thousand purely into Crypto.com's USDC flexible term, what will we get? Okay. According to this same article, if you scroll all the way up, let's assume you are the lowest tier of the Crypto.com uh, cards, right? This lowest tier. Okay, lowest tier, which is over here. USDC 400 bucks or less, okay, flexible program. So we're looking at 1.5%. So Binance side with 100,000, you get about 1%. And over here in crypto.com, if you go with the lowest tier card, okay, maybe that's a bit cheap because you stake, you do get a bit more. You get 1.5%. 1.5%, what does that mean? So 1.5% of 100,000 quite straightforward is 1,005 a year. Compared to um, Binance uh, flexible earning for USDC is 975. So 975 versus 1005, so you get more in crypto.com. I'm still not very happy, but I'm just telling you, I'm just comparing right crypto.com versus Binance earn flexible for USDC. Okay, so from a, from a simple standpoint, it seems as though crypto.com's uh, USDC flexible earning wins um, Binance one hands down, right? But Let's not be so simple, right? Let's dive a little bit deeper and say, I want to earn more. Nigel, I want to earn more. 1%, 1.5%, that's crap, right? Of course I want more. We used to get, you know, 12 plus 2%. That's like, that's like 14%. So say you're like me, you want to earn more, right? Uh, let's go to Binance first, okay? I mentioned just now about USDT. So USDT has very much more delicious... Um, uh, percentage. You see USDC, they, they give 1.2% um, blended, right? But if you look at USDT over here, oh, eh, okay, no, no, let's go back here. It's for the flexible savings for USDT. Offhand, you'll see 10%, and again, it's blended, okay? 
So the first 2,000 is 10% per annum. Then from 2,000 to 75,000, which is 23,000, is 3%. And anything above 75,000 is 1%. So again, I've done the math for you, right? Make it easy. So you see this one? We, we take a look at USDT. Okay, never mind. We're not talking about USDT, uh, about how much is back. Okay, but let's just talk purely about the 10% blended. So the first 2,000 USDT is 10%. $2,000 from, from 2000, 2000 to 75000 is 3% and above 75000 is 1%. So 100000 there means that the first 2000 you get 10%, which is 200 bucks. Okay, that's pretty nice. Delicious. 2000 to 75000 so that's 75, 73 grand. At 3% is 2190 Okay, that's much better than 1005 just now, right? And your last 25000 which makes up the total of 100000 at 1%, that's 250 bucks. 200 bucks at 2,190 2, at 250, you get a, a total of 2,640, two, which is way better than the original um, 975 with USDC at BDENS. Okay, so we're talking about close to three times already. Nice, it's actually pretty good actually. What's this amount? 2,640, which is roughly 2.64% blended up, right? Much better. Let's take a look at crypto.com. How do you earn more? So crypto.com is not so you can you crypto.com you, you can go to the others lah. You know you can go straight to um, Dot and Matic where you can get six percent. But um, I would I want to compare just purely stable coins right now. Okay, Dot and Matic are, are a different ball game. Let's talk purely about the stable coins level. Okay, so to earn more with the the uh, earn program in crypto.com, there are two ways, right? Number one, you stick more crew. Yes, you have to take some more money and level up your card. Okay, or, and or you go with a longer term. Okay, so let's do the math, right? Okay, if you go over here, okay, originally we this crypto.com earn, you originally we look at flexible, flexible 400 bucks, 400 crew or less. So you see our USDC 1.5%, right? So say you stay this same level of 400 or less, you go to one month. Look at USDC, 1.5, right? You go to one month, it becomes 3%. Okay, let's do our math at 3%. Remember, when you go to fixed term, the tier one, tier two applies. That means the first, the first 8,000, let's say you go with 400 or less, or less, 100,000, right? So the first 30,000, first 30,000, will be times 3% at 3% okay like this so this will be what 900 bucks then the next 70,000 70,000 at half of 3% let's put 3% times 0 0.5 okay let's do it this way so how much is that 70 grand times 0 0.03 times 0 0.5 so 1050 1050 so total will be 1050 plus 900 right 1950 1950 does this lose to Binance the USDT of course but remember I'm still looking at, at the USDT data is the same though Ooh. So crypto.com earn lose in that sense lah because of the, the tier one, tier two. So one one thousand nine hundred fifty this is a blended becomes one point nine five percent. Okay? Of course we are looking at no stake. So what happens that if you go to three months? So since you can stick for one month, why not stick for three months, right? So let's say you go stick for three months. So it becomes six percent. So let's run the numbers again, right? So again let's say 400,000 or less okay first 30,000 30, at 6% next 30,000 at 6% times 0.5 so 6% of 30,000 is 1,008 am I correct? let me run the math 30,000 times 0 0.06 1,008 correct 1,800 is already creeping up to this number already so next 70,000 is at 6% times divided by 2 so it's uh, 70,000 times 0.05 sorry 
0 0.06 times 0 0.5, 2100. 2100. Total will be 2100 plus 1800, 3900. 3900, which is a blended amount of 3.9%. So, this is how you play at 400 or less crow stake. Do a three month, it works right. Does Binance has a longer stake? I couldn't really find one for stable coin. So, if I go under the earn program that over here, I go to staking, right. So if I go to uh, USDC, USDC, there's none. So USDT, there's none. DAI, none. So there's no staking for stable coins on Binance. So if you compare purely USDC to USDC, right, on an earn program for Crypto.com uh, versus Binance, I feel right if you you have your will if you have bigger amount of hundred thousand it just earns a lot more if you stake for longer you just go with three months it just wins because it's a it's a, it's a percentage game so let's recap right so if you look at B, uh, if you look at binance this one right i go press back if you look at the earn program because of the the earn program and if you compare usdc Oh, that is quite slow. Okay, where's the earn program? Loading, loading. Okay, best for beginners. Let's go to here. I'm only comparing USDC to USDC. But we talk about USDT for a while. Okay, USDC, you see? So Binance offered a blended approach of 1.2%, roughly 1% depending on how much you, you you put into their program. Okay. And 1% is quite low. So 1% of 100000 is $1,000 a year in terms of return. Uh, with, if you compare, of a simple comparison with, with, uh, with Crypto.com, Crypto.com, if you do a very basic, purely flexible one, you already gain 1.5%. So Binance 1% versus Crypto.com 1.5%, you already win in that sense. Lah, okay. Of course, I want to earn more. 1.5% isn't much. So if you want to earn more, there are some there's, there are some uh, um, opportunities on Binance itself and Crypto.com. So like I shared just now, for Binance, if you are willing to take a bit more risk, you can go into the either the USDT or the BUSD. BUSD is uh, is even lesser because you see it's ten percent, one percent, one point five, and zero point eight. So I I just spoke about about um USDT. I I'm not comfortable with USDT because of how it's um it's backed. But if you want to earn more and you're willing to take more risk of USDC versus USDT, USDT if you put hundred thousand USDT based on the blended approach, you can get a good amount of this. You see, two point six four percent blended. So you get 2640 bucks a year. I probably would not pot my money. I'll probably park all of them in crypto.com. So how I plan to earn more is to stake more crow. That means go up to the cut levels. So instead of being a pure 400 crow or less, I will go up the tier. I only spoke about flexible with you guys. And then with the, with the different terms, one month, three month. But let's say if I go at 4,000, the tiers change as well. 40,000, the tiers oh, doesn't change. So it's around here. And from here we go here, you get I get eight percent, right? So I am at the, I'm at the I see white. So I'm at this level. This, this is the same right now, lah. So to earn more for your USDC on Crypto.com, go up your 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 card tiers. I shared in the, in a in the previous video how you can compound your crow and quickly level upgrade your cards, and then you can stake for longer terms. The longer term you you stake, the more you earn, right? So you see, if I stay at this level, see if I, like this one, right? Over here, see? If I stay at this 400 crow or less tier and 100,000, okay? Immediately, it's, it's still 1.5. But if I go to one month, it becomes 3%, right? If I go to three months, it becomes 6%. So I will just take longer on crow, uh, on, on crypto.com. And that's how I'll earn more of my USDC 
on crypto.com versus Binance. Um, for me, I'm sold on crypto.com. It's quite a nice program structure and it's been working well for me. So if you compare, if you compare, right, you crypto.com USDC stablecoin earn versus Binance earn purely USDC, crypto.com wins hands down to me. So hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, boys and girls. Earn as much as you can. Bye.